Hey YouTube, what's up? Wanted to show you a couple of... I don't think mini is the right word, but uh, concealable? Uh, pocket friendly? How about... Um, small in size, big in heart? Okay, that's just ridiculous. But uh, fairly small size folders um, in length but trying to, to maintain some girth to them still so that they're effective cutting tools. So this little little fella right here um, is actually uh, the exact same blade shape as my friction folders, these stubborn imps. Um, because it's actually a stubborn imp blade that I messed up the uh, notch out on for the bottle opener. And I went, hmm, let's not waste that piece of steel. Let's turn that into a liner lock. Or not a liner lock. A frame lock. So, I turned it into probably one of the smallest knives I've made. And it is now a micro imp. A wee imp. I don't know. Small. How about that? So that is a uh, little little two inch blade. And that makes the handle about three and a half. Chisel round. Tonto. Elmax steel. Titanium mock scale. Bead blasted. Uh, actually this one's not just bead blasted. It is um... Well for God's sake. Stone washed. Uh, and it also is random radius a little bit. I wanted to get a little bit of depth. If you can see it, I bet you can. Uh, carved carbon fiber. And kind of a cool little knife. Right, so I've got really big hands. <coughs> and so when I made this guy, just like on the imp, um, the stubborn imp friction folder, I made these so they kind of kind of nestle right in your hand there in that little three finger seat uh, and fit nice so you can hold on to these things and actually do shit with them I mean because I've owned a lot of knives that are small because uh, for some reason I'm fascinated by small knives um, and they just suck to work with, with for me because their handles are just so super small uh, they don't they don't feel right in my hands so I wanted to design knives that aren't like that then I have this guy and, uh, and this is kind of still based on the on the imp design, uh, sort of being my short folders. Um, and I tentatively named this the Techno Imp. Uh, so this is a red black G10 for the face scale that I've just uh, done some mill work on. A um, we'll call that a chiseler uh, ground blade. Sort of like a Warren Clef chisel ground, bead blasted, anodized titanium lock scale with all my usual goodies in it. Um, now the client asked me to do the pocket catch on. <coughs> pocket catches tend to not work so super well on my shorter blades. Uh, I know this from experience and having tried it on several, and so even on this one, it uh, it doesn't work super duper well. I think this one's a little stiff too. I might relax the pivot just a bit. Uh, both of these are, while they do have guards, they are not actually flippers. Um, I don't think I can get this one to flip if I were to relax the pivot a lot. Not like, or we won't talk about him. Um, it's kind of the way they are. But, I mean, the reason that that guard is there is not just to make it a flipper, but the reason it's there is to keep your, your hand from sliding into the blade. I mean, that's that first and foremost, that's what it's there for. So, that's kind of a cool knife, too some little dudes. I can't believe I just said little dude. 
what am I, from California? And, um, well, there's all kinds of sundry stuff, as usual, going on in here. And, uh, I will be doing more videos in the future, because I'm going to be having more knives finished up, uh, probably in a few days. So, YouTube, see you guys later. You take care.